they had me considered better than LeBron James. So yeah. I'm on that Mount Rushmore as well. You see what I'm saying? Lenny Cook versus Ian Jackson in high school. Ian Jackson, I would bust your ass. You hear me? <laughs> you don't stand a chance, kid. What's up, you guys? You back at the Captain Jack podcast, episode two. I'm here with my co-host, Pat Wavy. It's Pat Wavy in the building, yeah. And today, we got a little bit of a special guest. Our second guest on the show, we got Lenny Cook with us. Yo, yo, appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate yeah, it. For sure, for sure, for sure. Appreciate you coming. Now, yeah, for sure. Yeah, how's everything been? Man, can't complain, man. You know what I'm saying? Just sharing my story, man. Make sure you guys do what's best. Make the right decisions for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like this is going to be a very informational episode. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy this one. I like this one a yeah, lot. Yeah, I like this one. I feel like he could learn a lot. I feel like Lenny could, the path he's been on and the stuff he's seen is basically what Ian planned for himself. That's what he he sees himself doing big things. And in life, you always need somebody to show you the ropes sometimes, when especially in basketball, because sometimes basketball is bigger than basketball. So Fact, you're going to yeah. get into that. Before we get into it, me and Pat, I, we did this last episode. I'm probably going to do it. But... Give me a top five scorers ever. Top five scorers ever? Yeah. Lenny Cook. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Kobe. Uh-huh. Mike. Yeah. Bron. Mm-hmm. Steph. That, that's that's a good one. I Pat, don't know. Yo, so Pat doesn't think LeBron should be on it. Or Jordan. What's wrong with this kid? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this kid is yo, crazy. This guy is the same. <laughs> no, but we got to remember, I got T-Mac in my list. Yeah. And this Melo is in my list for sure. Melo is definitely in, in my top 10. Um, he think he'd be Trey Young one-on-one. I have no reason why. He said he would post him up. I told him Trey Young is strong, even though he's not, you feel me? Yeah. But that's insane. You have okay, to tell him. Okay. I guess. You can call me delusional. I'll take it. Ah, you guys, you guys can have it. I'm delusional. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's talk about something. Look, look. I mean, you've been watching Ian's game for a long time. I've been I've, watching him over the last yeah. couple of years. Yeah. Over crap, who in the NBA or even through your time would you say Ian remind you of the most? Like his game. I mean, he remind me of a Lenny Cook, man. He's a dog. He's a dog. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, he's a go-getter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he don't care who's in front of him. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about him. And that's why I want to be in the circle. I want him to do the right things because, it, his, like I said, his, his future is too bright to end up, to end up messing up yeah. because of a minor mistake. You know what I yeah. mean? And I, I won't allow you to do that. Yeah. I mean, I think me personally, I think uh, – in the NBA, as far as the NBA, because you know I didn't make make it to that platform where I mean I, I felt like I deserved to be, but as far as NBA players, Melo is definitely probably the best scorer I ever seen. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He creates his own shot. He know how to go get it is on his own. You know yeah. what I'm saying for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Since we on that, you played against Melo when he was a Jet. Mm-hmm. How how was how was that experience? I mean, it, it was different, man. Melo Melo grew. Um, I played. I got a chance to see him twice. You know what I'm saying? Um, one in Vegas, one at ABCD camp. Uh, but that first year, um, Melo came back the next summer, and he was six eight, six nine, and just stronger. He got better. He worked on his game. You know what I mean? Things yeah. that I didn't get, things that I didn't do, which was work. And those guys worked on their game over the summer while yeah. I was hanging out partying and doing all the stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, I salute the Bronze and the Mellows and Amari Stoudemire's because they, they deserve everything that they got. Yeah. So if For sure. you, you, you in high school, what you feel like as a basketball player, like what you think that you didn't work on them as much that you feel like you should have, like was a part of your game that really you know you need at the next level that – just something you just didn't work on. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like sometimes until you face those people and you're there in their face, then you say, I probably should have took more threes or I probably should have worked on my under the legs more. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for me, it, it wasn't it wasn't that. It was just um, working on myself first, hmm. um, having the right people around me, letting me know that I got big games coming up. Um, I didn't care at that time. Like, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I should have been working on my game, but I'm like I said earlier, I'm hanging out and doing things I shouldn't have been doing. Um, when when I know I'm about to face a kid like a LeBron or a Carmelo, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. That these guys is preparing themselves to go against me at that time. You mm-hmm. know what I mean. And I, I was just as ta- just as talented as those guys, but I didn't put the work in. 
you, you got to make sure your image is right yeah. because that thing can be snatched away from you. You're not there, like Master P told me, you're not there until you're there. Yeah. I thought I was there and I never thought it was going to run out. You know what I mean? I yeah. never thought it was going to end. And now I'm, I'm, I'm here, like, I went through that depression stage by not making it. I went through all of those things, you know what I mean? But yeah. I had to bounce back because it's kids like you, yeah. you know what I mean, that, that, that have a bright future. I can't allow you to mess that up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're, uh, you're a New York legend. You're a New York legend. Who you say is on that Mount Rushmore, like another five guys that's with you? Well, man, I got to... <laughs> That list is long, pause. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I came up watching guys like Skip to My Lou. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I came up watching guys like Big Strick, entertainers. You know what I'm saying? Um, whole lot of game. A yeah. butter. You know what I mean? Um, then you got the Bashies. Then you got the uh, Kyle Cuffs, the Andre Sweets. Um, mm -hmm. we, had, we got a lot of people that set the tone in New York City for uh, New York City basketball when I was coming up. You had the guys at St. Ray's, like Julius Hodge. You had people at Rice, Andre Barrett, mm -hmm. um, Omar Cook. Uh, you know what I mean? So you had Curtis Sumter at Bishop Lachlan. Yeah. Like, that, li that list is long, bro. Yo, like, Rice, Rice, was, Rice was a powerhouse. Was always, nah, Rice, Rice was, Rice was yeah, always a powerhouse. Rice was, I wouldn't yeah. want to know smoke again. To I, and I, if there's anybody that I, I miss, I apologize. But like I said, it's, it, it's it's too many. Yeah. Basketball now and then, you think it's the same? Like, the, I don't, uh, even toward, like, the competition, the intensity that they play with, what you think? Because I still don't think so. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I lived in the golden era. You know what I mean? Our, our time is always going to be better than this time. It's too it's too commercial. Mm -hmm. It's too commercial now. Like, we will bust in in the mask. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I be trying to, be trying to tell like, you, like, you think they, you could survive have, a day? We don't have enough ends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough dogs. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, don't get me wrong. Is good, sure, you though. know what I mean? I, 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 I'm a fan of this era. You know what I mean? You got the ends. You got the ties at St. Ray's. Yeah. You got uh, Magic Mail. Mm -hmm. You got the guys over at Nazareth. You got Halon and all of them. Tristan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, But I just feel like the game is too commercial. It's mm -hmm. too watered down. It's all about who who coaches what kid. It's all about this kid got to be a Nike kid. This kid got to be this kid. Like, under, like nah, it's... it's it's not basketball, basketball no more. You know what I mean? We we had to go out there and and grind every single time we got on that court. You know what I mean? We wanted to make sure, like, yo, we come. I don't care who you are. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like the killer mentality is gone it's nowadays. Gone. It's like, not two friends. Everybody, everybody's, everybody's friends. friends. That's why I feel like even you, when, you was my friend <laughs> until they when the clock ran out. We yeah, back cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So do you think the NBA is soft now? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. It's too. It's too watered down. It's too watered down, man. Yeah. Everybody, you can't foul nobody. You can't, you know what I mean? I, no I love hands. the game. Yeah. I'm going to always watch the game. I'm always going to um, dissect the game. But at the same time, it's too commercial. Yeah. Quick it's question. All about, it's all about the money now. If you if you place Michael Jordan right now, like no, no change, no skills, you think he'll still be a, um, what's it called, an all, all-star? He'll definitely be an all-star. He'll yeah. definitely be an all-star, man, because he's too smart. He know the game too much. That's what I'm saying. Um, you got to think, even when he retired and came back, bro, when he was with the Wizards, he know how to get to the bucket. You know what I mean? Like, he's Michael Jordan. He knows the game inside and out. So him being out of shape or whatever, mm -hmm. he's still going to get his. What do you think, Pat? And you know what? There is players like that, though, honestly speaking. I really believe that because I really feel like there's some players that really just always get on the court. Like, R.I.P. Kobe, but I don't think it is any generation in the world that Kobe can stop Kobe. Like, no. So I guess. they know the game, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. They know yeah. how to pace themselves. They know how to go in the floor of the game and get there. So and just, it's, it's just different. Some people got not, some not, people just, just talented, yeah. But some people, yeah. just, some people just know the game. Yeah. yeah. The love of the game always, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. So, in high school, you played against Braun. How many times you played? Once? Twice. Twice. So, the first time you played was at the camp, at ADC? That, the first time was at ABCD. Okay, so the first time you played them, LeBron James, Eleni Cook, two of the top recruits. Some people were saying you was better. It was, it was, it was up in the air. Yeah. Going into that game, what was your mindset? What was you thinking about? How was that? Like, yeah. How I was mean, that for you? It was. It was. It, to, for like I said back then, I was so arrogant and big headed. I didn't even know who the kid was at first. You know what I mean? Um, he showed it that next day who he was, but. Um, I didn't. I, I didn't go into the game thinking anything. Um, I came back to camp as the reigning MVP. So 
whoever they put in front of me, they just got to, you know I mean, get what's, what's, what's coming for them. You know yeah. what I mean? And um, I ended up having a bad game that, that, that night, and uh, he hit the game-winning shot, and his career took off from there. Back then, it's rough, though. You feel me? Because I feel like back then, it was hard to see somebody more than more than once or twice. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah. So if you had a bad game, it was like no really real way to redeem yourself. I mean, it, or, or, I, yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that because, like you said, I could have ran into him again. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was just more so like they had already picked this kid as the goal, the, the chosen one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was like if he, if he get the better game over Lenny Cook, who is the number one player in the country, it's like... Yeah. It's, not, it's the sky's the sky's the limit for him. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So it it wouldn't have mattered if I'd have played against him two, three, four times because he already got, got that one, one game. big game. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, but don't get me wrong. He definitely he definitely deserve deserve to be uh, allegedly one of the greatest basketball players um, to ever play. But um, for me, it's just like, all right. Well, have you ever heard anybody say that somebody was better than Michael Jordan before? And Michael Jordan was considered the GOAT, right? Yeah. Well, I put myself in the category like that because they had me considered better than LeBron James. So yeah. I'm on that Mount Rushmore <laughs> yeah. as well. You see what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Go ahead, Pat. You stay in, do you still stay in contact with any of those guys, the Melo, the LeBron? Are you guys still in contact? By I mean, I haven't spoken to LeBron, but um, I speak to Melo um, all the time. Like, Melo is my bro, you know what I mean? I talk to Cayenne all the time, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That's nephew. Um, same way, like, with you, bro. Like, I have that same influence with Mel uh, with Cayenne, yeah. you know what I mean? Y- y'all both communicate. If I text y'all, y'all, y'all hit back, like, what's good? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, some of the guys that was in that class, I don't speak to. I haven't spoken to in a while. But definitely Melo is, like, my, my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smooth though. Over those years, you still build a relationship. That's nah, so for that's sure. what we'll do for that's you. That's what basketball yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's do. That's what basketball you know what do I mean? for and you. I, and I feel like basketball is like a brotherhood. You know yeah, what I mean? It takes yeah. you to different places, more places than you ever thought you would be, and, and put you in rooms with people that yeah. like you never would think that you would be in with. Yeah. With all the knowledge you got about basketball, you never thought of going into coaching. Like, I mean, I want to coach. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I know. That I, I, I've been an assistant coach in high school already at Orlando City High School. Shout mm-hmm. out to uh, Gene Allen, who uh, gave me my first uh, opportunity to be assistant coach in the high school. And then uh, I also coached at Middle Township in um, South Jersey uh, as an uh, assistant with my man um, Anthony Farmer, who played mm-hmm. at Rutgers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So um, coaching is definitely on my plate. Um, I just got to go to college and get me a couple credits in order to be a, a head coach. Um, yeah. I got a few credits, but I got to get a couple more to end up being a uh, high school head coach. Um, I'll be working with uh, Nazareth. My, you know, Gary Irvin is over there. That's my brother. Yeah. Um, so he 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 want me to be um, an assistant with him. So coaching is definitely in my future. Yeah. <clears throat> and to me, it seems like like you 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 want to be in New York. I mean, I, I just love it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I like we talked about earlier, man. New York is basketball for real yeah. you know what I mean we have the best talent we have the best kids it's just we got to make sure that our kids don't make mistakes because it's easily it's easily to get distracted coming from New York yeah so like obviously yeah you made you made a few points that you don't want nobody to, that has a future to kind of mess it up and, and veer off the path so like it's being like a role model to the kids and the youth like something that's like instilled in you now and that you want to make sure that you get done yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I think that that's my calling because yeah. uh, NBA <clears throat> didn't happen for me. So, and as talented as I was, I feel like God put me here to make sure that yeah, I can show you that it can be here today and going tomorrow. But I'm gonna use you as an example so these kids don't have to go through what you went through or make the mistakes. And you you can be the one to make sure that these kids don't make the same mistakes. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I share my story. That's my goal. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm working on my book. You know what I mean? Um, that's what I want to do. Just continue to share my Lenny Cook story. And uh, I use my acronym Dreams, man. You can do right even after minor setbacks. Yeah. That's clean. That was good. That was a good one. That's, 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 that's a clean one. They put that on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. good one. I like that one. Yeah, I like that's, that that's one. That's clean. Yeah, talk yeah. about get into the books. I mean, it's just it's just it's just basically my story. You know what I mean? Y'all, I'm, I'm sure y'all know the documentary and all of that um, came yeah. out a couple years back. But um, I just feel like 
if we put it in um, words, words and put it in these schools, hopefully these kids can get the insight of, it's just not about basketball, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's a business now, you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's a business first. And um, yeah, that's my that's my goal to get, make sure that the Lenny Cook story as a book become the number one uh, New York Times bestseller. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like a lot of kids in New York understand the basketball side of things, but the business side of things we kind of sh- shade it out from. You want to get more into the business side of basketball. A lot of people. I mean, I didn't know it, and that's where I messed up at because, like I said, I didn't have the right people behind me to teach me that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I didn't know it the business part. I just was like, I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm just going to these places playing and you know, playing for whoever want me to play, whoever giving me sneakers, whoever giving me money. I'm I'm just playing. I didn't know yeah. I didn't know the business side of it. So how, but now I do. Yeah, so, so I'm able to yeah. go back and bring it to the table for the youth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, like I said, that's that's just what who, who I am. Yeah. So for a kid like Ian that's highly ranked in his class, the Adidas deal, we have everything going. It's on top, I would say that he's doing amazing for a high school player. Like, what advice would you give him? Like, especially in the business aspect of basketball, things to look out for, things to be aware of, their signs, stuff that you completely didn't ignored. even ignore. Like, nah, for sure. I, I mean, like- use Lenny Cook as an example of what not to do, Ian Jackson. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's image great. is everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you mess your image up, them deals is going to go away. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to always have that talent, that gift. You know what I mean? But these people want you to be marketable. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, if you can't be marketable, they don't want no dealings with you because you, you they can't sell you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So my advice to you is just continue to be who you are. You know what I mean? You don't have to change who you are, but you definitely have to make sure your image is clean at all times because even when you don't think someone's watching, you never know who's watching. You know what I mean? Whether it's on the court or off the court. Mm -hmm. Question, funny question. So, Lenny Cook versus Ian Jackson in high school. (laughs) <laughs> like, you, I don't, um, <laughs> you get, you get I don't know you, what you, kind of language you can you use get on this podcast, <laughs> but um, and Jackson, I would bust your ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have a chance, kid. You, 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 you're back. You got over me back. Nah, nah, I don't know about that one. I don't know. I mean, I will bust let, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me. Y'all was some two thousand and two. To Ian Jackson in 2024, yeah, yeah. Right I'm saying we ain't. He, know, he might not even stand a chance right now. Oh, oh, come on. We was in the gym yesterday, kid. Yeah, we was in the gym last night. Yeah, he was in the gym last night. Ian get, yeah. But think about was, Ian, though. Ian get straight to it, though. Like, yeah, I know, I know. I it's know, in I the know, moves. Young Lenny. I know. <laughs> I know. Young I, Cook is a different I, breed, I, though. You just stayed in front? I Absolutely. Know. I don't know. I'm, I'm a defender, too. On Ian, though? Nah, I, that's I, a bucket getter. So. That's, that's, that's but a let me tell you, nah. it, it depends on the, but Ian, it, it depends you on the floor of the game because okay. it, it depends on the floor of the game. Okay. Yeah. See, it, it, Ian's like me. He's a dog. So I know that he's yeah. going to try to go at me. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do. Help. Switch. <laughs> now I'm out. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that one. I'm smart. I yeah. know harder, not harder. Yeah, not harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not harder. yeah look, yeah. we you know, know. I'm not about to. I'm, you're no, not, I'm not about there. to burn my, myself. No up, point. Chasing him around. Or defense there. Oh, you can't really get off. Yeah, like I'm not doing that. <laughs> but if we, if we on that, I need t- a forty point night. If we on yeah. that topic, I feel like that's what makes New York guard so special, though. Because I feel like in New York. I will see Ian go out and guard the best player on the yeah, floor. Yeah, no, we're going to do that. And but he's still, also going to call switch. Yeah. He's always looking for that help on that baseline. Because it's, it's hard It's hard for you to try to you try to go get 40, but you're guarding the best player too. It's hard. But players that do that, it, it, it's insane. I mean, it's, it's a few players. It's a few. That it's a few that's going to do it. You but know what I mean? That's but rough though. Shout out Shea Gale, always. He's definitely one. Yeah. He's a dog. Shea Gale. Shea Gale. Who else does it? Braun. I mean, Braun be on that. Uh, here and Brian there, Def- Brian here was there, on. Come on, there. yeah, back he got to be. It got to be. It got to be. Brian, it, it, depends, Kawhi, it depends on. It depends yeah, on the yeah, setting of the game. Kawhi, you know what I mean? Kawhi's done it. Kawhi's beyond that. Yeah, I, feel like, I, I don't but, know if Giannis, but Giannis can't really guard guards. Yeah, Giannis can't really guard guards. But I feel like I feel like I feel like defense, defense, defense. I feel like that's what set be separating a lot of players nowadays Pat in New guard. York. Defense, like you don't guard though. Who you? Me? I mean, but uh, New York players is not you. You can't you can name 
on one hand, how many great defenders New York put out? Yeah. We always want to be the flashy guy. Flash we don't always have a 20, 30 point games. Yeah. We always want to have that swag. Basketball. Like, ain't nobody trying to burn themselves out on defense, man. Leave that from Chicago York, and York, Denver and wanna, those kids. The New York guys want to put on a show. Basketball. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You know, I, think, I, think, I think defense is an important thing. No, it's definitely, nah, it's definitely important. important. Definitely, for sure. For sure. Especially for, sure. for small guards. But, that, it, it, but those guys that Work on just defense. Look, they have great careers as well. Look at a Pat Beverly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Like, Pat certain Bev. guys just defend. I feel like we got to preach that more to people, kids because not everybody got to go between the legs through the legs. Some people, you could play defense and still go high major. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the PJ, PJ Tucker, Tucker, the Pat Bevs. Yeah. Now nah, Pat Bev was a bucket. Yeah, yeah Pat nah, Bev was definitely sure. a bucket. Pat Bev was for a bucket. Sure. Pat Bev was definitely Pat a bucket. But his intensity is why he stayed in the league. Absolutely. That's the hard part. The hard part is, for yeah, some you people. You take a guy like um, play for play for uh, Memphis uh, defender Tony, Tony Allen. Allen. I like that Tony one. Allen. Kobe said he's the only person that gave him hell. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he was a defender. Yeah. And he always wanted to defend the best player. Yeah, that's their thing. That's yeah, their thing. I mean, say, yeah. That's definitely how, but that's how we. If you lock into yourself, like, yo, I'm going to get this guy, I'm going to get stops tonight, then that's the only thing you're worried about. Yeah. But see, it's I don't, and, for me. and that goes back to what we was talking about earlier. You know what I mean? Nobody's trying to do that nowadays. Everybody want their 30 seconds on Instagram of them getting to a bucket. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Everybody yeah, wants man. that. One minute reel yeah. with music playing yeah. of them just getting to a bag. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> how what you what? How do you feel like social media? What's they affected the game of basketball? Oh, yeah, that's Man, I, I mean, I didn't have social media, and that, yeah. that's what yeah. made it so different for me. Like, you had to get to it. You wanted to be in the Daily News. You yeah. wanted to be in the New York Times. You wanted to be in Slam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all we had back mm -hmm. then. Nowadays, like I said, you can, you can be in the gym for three hours, right? Yeah. Have a one minute reel with music, all you made shots for one minute, yeah. right? How many shots did you miss? Yeah. Nobody knows. You see what I'm Nobody saying? Knows. Nobody, Nobody mix, shows. The mixtapes don't show. How many shots you didn't took? Yeah. You know what I mean? All you showing is every shot you made yeah. for. <laughs> What's it called? So you think if y'all had social media back then, you... I'd be a millionaire still right now, <laughs> right now. You hear me? Things would be different. What? <laughs> it's really that's real. Like think it's about serious. every day we get on our phones and we go scroll through Instagram. Imagine them actually seeing going to the newspaper to look who just dropped forty. Like yeah, now nah, newspaper is crazy. You have to really be dedicated then. Yeah, to go out of your way to go get a newspaper. High school, you. That's what somebody... you wanted. Street and Smith magazine. <laughs> Stuff like that. That's, 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 that's what we had. Yeah, that was our media. That doesn't even sound real. Like, yeah, go grab, go go grab a newspaper. Waking up and <laughs> trying to scroll through the third page. You got a little box in the corner. Yeah. And let me cook just have just 40. Just have 40. <laughs> <laughs> you got to cut that part out and yeah. bring it to school, show everybody yeah, how. Yeah. I'm on the news. I, 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 I just that's have 40. I was. But it's nah, like, that's, here's that's the head of newspaper in school. Like, can you sign it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would get off the train and people like, can you sign my newspaper? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was our motion. that was that was our that's media. Motion. I call that motion, motion. Right. Like, that's, that's motion. It's crazy. Motion. That's crazy. Smooth. But we 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 spoke on school. I feel like if we're gonna talk about basketball, I feel like we could definitely talk more about school and the school aspect of basketball. What's your advice to kids in school, basketball players? Because basketball players, coach always told me you're a student athlete. Well, do they come, come first? Before you, give you advice, before you give you advice about it, how was school for you? Like I mean, see, walking I was the terrible every day. in school because I barely went to school. Mm -hmm. it, was the, it was a difference. Yeah. Um, I went to school on game days, but I didn't go to school every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and they felt me at that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they didn't sit me because I didn't go to school. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I would leave my school at, when I was at LaSalle. I would leave my school and go practice at Rice with those guys or go practice with Bishop Lachlan in Brooklyn. Yeah. I wouldn't even go to my own practice at LaSalle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they felt me with that. You know what I mean? Because if if I had somebody that be like, man, you ain't come to practice, you ain't playing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They might be disciplined. Yeah. So, it, it was different, man. Like, and as far as the books, bro, like y'all guys need to understand that education is key, whether you make it to the NBA or not, man, because you're going to spend more time off the court than on the court. So yeah. when you're done, what are you going to do? 
What if something happened where you don't get to that platform where you want to be in the NBA? You know mm. what I mean? You got to have something to fall back on. And luckily, I just got a story that I can share and be beneficial. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But y'all guys need to understand that even when it comes to coaching, if you want to be done, like you got to have at least an associate's degree. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like school is very important and people need to at least go get an associate's degree before they um, make a decision to come out unless you guarantee that real, real big bag. And yeah. even after that, go back and get it. Yeah. Like from going from being one of the highly, highly rated kids to going off and just kind of, you know, like not, not not being that highly rated kid anymore. How, how was that like transition for you? Um, it was hard. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I didn't get drafted, I was in a shell. I was in a depression. You know what I mean? Uh, alcohol got to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just didn't want to be bothered, you know what I mean? And once my son started playing and all of that, it was like, yo, you got to wake up. You, know? you got to look yourself in the mirror and take accountability because I had to learn, like, yo, ain't nobody make them choices but me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of listening to everybody else say, pointing fingers at everybody else, like, you the one that made those decisions, bro. So you messed it up. So now you got to go fix it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, for sure. That's real. And that's real. That's real. I feel like life... Got to own them. We just got to own them to your decision sometimes and make the best out of our situations. Facts. That's all yeah. it's about. That's rough, though. You get to a it's situation. Hard. Yeah. It's hard, bro, because I've seen some people don't never come out that shell. Yeah. That's some that, people, it's a million Lenny Cook stories. It, it, like, it, it, you know it, what I mean? A million. Yeah. But i just been blessed with the opportunity to come out that shell and, and share mine so, I, so these kids don't have to go through what I went through. Yeah. I see a lot of people, bro, that... New York legends yeah. that won't even go to a basketball game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they so embarrassed. I was that. I was. But, nah, I had to fix it. I had to take accountability for all my decisions that I made. I said, you know what? Use it and use it in a positive way. Turn yeah. it around and, and, and make a difference. Yeah, what you're doing now. Facts. Love. Nah, yeah, definitely. So looking back at your, th at your whole basketball career, what is like one thing that you feel like always – you held on to, like, you're most passionate about? Playing against LeBron James, who is considered arguably the greatest basketball player yeah, ever. That is something. 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 That is something Full pride in that, man, because yeah. I was considered one of the best players ever coming out of high school, you know what I'm saying? And I got an opportunity to play with those guys that's future Hall of Famers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, what, and what was Lenny Cook's go-to move? I ain't have one. I was just a scorer. Oh, I'm going to so, get mine. So I, I, I ain't have on no go-to move level. or nothing. Like, Come on, I'm a scorer. I know go to Everybody has something. I didn't have none of that. I'm a dog. I'm going to go get 40. I'm going to leave you alone, and I'll see yeah. you next game. You know what I'm saying? That's you sound it. like me right now. Yeah, that's, that's a pack move right there. That's a <laughs> pack move. Yeah. I don't do no yeah, moves. Yeah, ain't no if moves. I got to post you up I'm a, for I'm 20. I'm going to take what you give me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 really, that's really it, you know though. I'm, I'm nah. trying to say, and I yeah. know I, I always bring this up every time I talk about basketball. Kobe. What was your thoughts on Kobe? Kobe. Kobe was just a great to me. I feel like everybody got their own perspective on Kobe, especially everybody that understands basketball. He thinks everybody should think like Kobe. No, I feel like the mindset Kobe carried yeah. when he touched His the His mindset court. was a killer, man. That's why he was a mamba. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Kobe was different. Kobe was different. If you study Kobe and watch Kobe, bro, <sighs> Kobe was different. Like, And all of the arguments, who's the best, LeBron, Jordan, or Kobe, it shouldn't even be an argument. You know what I mean? It's just a debate. But all of those guys is great in their in, in their ways. in their own way and in their own era as well. You know what I'm saying? Just so happened LeBron got to play with all of them in all 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 generations. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But Kobe was different, man, and that's why I, I love Kobe, man. Kobe sat in that camp and told me, "Yo." I'll bust your ass, Lenny. <laughs> and I didn't know what he meant by that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He Speak was like, I'll beat you in various ways. Uh -huh. At 17, I didn't know what he meant by that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm thinking he's thinking he talking basketball, but he's not talking basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Your I, mental not even right. You're not even mature enough to play me right now. You know what I mean? That's yeah. basically what he's saying to me. How, how old is Kobe around that time? Kobe was in his... 
this was 01, so like 20s. He was like 21, 22. Ooh, he's yeah, in that league. Was Kobe was a bad man that you know yeah, He's in the league so, by, by two years in the league. That's real though. Even Kobe. This is when he wrong. had the phone posit Adidas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you know. It was, I got a pair of those. Those <laughs> is clean. You know what I mean? But those is clean. Nah, man. Kobe, 23. Yeah. So it was, Kobe just was different, man. He studied the game so much. You, his, he just loved basketball. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel like everybody that, like you said, play basketball. Played basketball if everyone has that mindset like him, a lot of people would be more successful I in basketball. Yeah. I told this guy this nah, before his Kobe, playoff game. But, 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 but God. <laughs> I literally told you, go in that room, put some AirPods on, and listen to some Kobe. Cause That's it, it. It really, like, he channels in a different element. Like, Kobe used nah, to tune. He said he, that he, he used to. He everything out, man, when it comes to everything. basketball. Like, Shabash said there was no such thing called the bad shot to Kobe because he worked on it. So yeah. who's going to tell him it's a bad shot? So I tell Ian, sometimes you got to. Lock out. I was happy last night. Me and, argue, me and Pat were arguing last night. We were playing fives. We were arguing last night. Pat is telling me to shoot every shot. I'm telling I said, yo, come on, bro. It's a bad shot. I'm not going to shoot it. I told Pat see, is now, saying, yo, see, now that's shoot the difference the between me and Ian. You see, when you ask me, Lenny Cook did to Ian now? Yeah. That's, I tell it's no that's bad shot to me. It's no bad shot to me. My he, coach showed me in high school, out. you want to pass the basketball, pass oh, it yeah, at yeah. the rim. It almost slipped out. Told me. I yeah, looked at yeah, his yeah, eyes. Yeah, what my high school coach tells me. Uh, if you want to pass the basketball, pass the basketball to the rim. And I told you the same. I told that's Ian. What you, that's what I'm going to do. I told Ian. It worked. Yeah. It worked. For the time being. Yeah. Yeah. I told Ian, you are probably the best player that I probably could tell you are. Why are you telling me that you're not open? He's not guarding you. When the ball touch your hand, you better let it go. He almost <laughs> told me. I nah, said, I said, I, it, 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 it was a bad pass. I, I caught the pass like at my feet. And he passed and shoot it. And he was like, yo, I was watching someone at UNC. They were shooting every shot, no matter what the catch. I said, he's a shooter. And Pat said, so you're not a shooter? And, and I had to stop myself right there. Because <laughs> exactly. I, I feel like cause that's what I really see for Kobe. I, when he said that, that registered through my brain. Like, oh, he said there's no such thing called a bad shot to me because I'm in the gym working on that shot. When you sitting down, I saw and my, I see you in the gym working on that three, yeah. and everybody else is with their girlfriends. Everybody else is partying. So... You got to bring that same... No matter where you play. It doesn't at. matter yeah. if you open runs. No matter. It doesn't matter if you're in the game. I'm telling you, it translates, and it's so visible to see the confidence that he play. play people play with. That's one thing, Lenny. Yeah. Your game, you play with a lot of confidence. It's a swagger that you know I'm better than everybody. Like, yeah, I'm going to yeah, kill yeah. you. Like, it's, it's not even cockiness. Like you, it's not cocky. It's confidence. Yeah. It's confidence. With me, I fell, I fell in love with just, just feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm getting better than everybody. Like so, so, so like in the nights, the, the times when I'm in the gym, I, 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 I like the feeling that I know everybody else is asleep. Facts, as you should. Yeah, yeah, as I like that feeling. For, for, for you, you, like, what, was it like that? Nah, because I ain't go to the gym. I do <laughs> game days. Uh -huh. like, I didn't work uh, on my game. And it that's was where, just, where, it was just natural talent. I mean, I was just talent. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I would have worked on my game, I'd be 22 years in the league. Yeah. Now that's real. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I just can only imagine that now. Yeah. Like, what if I'd have really had somebody like you got the trainers training you every day mm -hmm. and then you go home, eat, chill for a minute, then get in the gym by yourself for a couple hours? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if I had those uh, opportunities, man, now, there's no telling where my career yeah, would have went. Yeah, that's my time. Like, I go to the gym around, like, 10. I won't leave till, like, 3. And, and I know some, nobody else Nobody in else is in the gym at that time, for real? And, and I get, like, a, I don't know. It, it makes me feel good. That I, know, sure. I know you're asleep and I'm still going to wake up the same time, do what you don't I wake up, do. yeah, and get it done again. So it's not like, yeah. Even friends around you, nobody was pushy. That was the. I mean, my see, like my friends was older. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah, we outside. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I did have a couple friends that uh, wanted me to get better and put myself in the right positions, but. I was so arrogant and big headed. It was like, yo, yeah, I'm, I'm the one. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm going. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that comes with that New York City swag. Like, you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. you don't have to lose nobody. Body. You know what I mean? You're untouchable. And, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I feel like that's what the your p your circle definitely matters a lot. Fact. Yeah. Because the people around you is the only people that will be able to keep you level headed until then. Know what I'm saying? Because even when Ian is in the gym at 3 a.m., we in the gym at 3 a.m. Yeah, they right with me. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and knowing that they have no aspirations of going, to the, going to the league. But they be, but exactly. If I got to be there, be, yeah, but that's, those yeah. the ones you keep around you, man, because they want the best for you and not not what's coming to them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So 
make sure you keep those people. Like, don't let, even when you make it, because you're going to make it, bro. Yeah. Like, you're going to the NBA, bro. But yeah, yeah. make sure you don't, y'all guys got to make sure that those other people don't try to come and break y'all circle up. Because definitely. they're definitely going to come. Definitely. For sure. So y'all, y'all got to make sure y'all keep him grounded. And don't let nobody tell him, yo, you don't need them around you. You don't need them. Like, let them yeah, nah, go. We not. can handle this. Like, keep them people away far as possible. Yeah. yeah. Because they're definitely coming. And I'm sure yeah. y'all already know that now. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And I know I'm coming up. Like, there was a lot of distractions. There was girls. It was partying. It was here advice to not not just Ian, but to like a, that the people of, especially when it comes to like the outside. The Cause everything. some kids think I can balance it. You feel me? Some kids feel like yo, I, I could do both. I mean, I, 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 I did. I balanced oh. it until it balanced me. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, my advice is to the youth, to the next generation. With that is, yo. All of that partying, the girls, all of that shit going to be there when you make it. Hmm. It's going to be there if you don't make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's never going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? Just yeah. That's why that's why I've, I mess with Jim Jones the way I mess with him because I have a story where I'm walking into Club Cheetahs and he's coming out and I'm like, what, what's going on in there? And he's like, yo, why are you here? Like, you know what I mean? Go home. This this is going to be here when you make it. Like, you know what I mean? He's the first person that did that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, those things, DJ Clue, you know what I mean? He's my big brother. He makes sure that, yo, you need to go home. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You need to be in the gym. Meet me at Chelsea Piers. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was one of those ones. And... He never changed. He never turned his back on me. Still to this day, like you know what I mean. You know how close me and him yeah, is. Yeah, like yeah. I'm with him every day, but he also making sure that I'm doing the right things now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't all about going out. It ain't all about the women. He just want me to do what's right for y'all. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's why I love that guy. Yeah. yeah. So, did the game you played against Braun, and he he he, he had a, kind of a better game. But was it that he, he was just better or it was just an off game at the time? I, mean, I ran out of gas, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I hung out all night that night. You know what I mean? I was at the club that night before, and we played a 9 o'clock game in the morning. Um, mm-hmm. I played well in the first half and ran out of gas in the second half, and he turned it up. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. what made it even more special is what he hit the game winning shot. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah. so crazy that people don't even understand that before he got that shot off, my teammate was at the line to go to make two free throws, and he missed them both. So if he didn't yeah. hit that shot or not, we'd have still won. If yeah. my teammate made both free throws, how things would have turned out. Yeah, you and get what I'm saying. So yeah, they don't yeah, talk yeah. about I all of s- that. You get what I'm Speaking saying. Speaking of so, teammates, though, what's the best teammate you which you played with? Like the best uh, teammate. That the throughout. best teammate that I ever played with. Uh, so I, I have two. I have two. I have two because uh, high school was different, man. Um, Gary Irvin. Was uh-huh. Gary sure. Irvin was my point guard. Gary Irvin is the reason why I woke up and was the number one player in the country. Um, we playing against Amari uh-huh. Stoudemire in the championship in the big time tournament um, at UNC. Oh yeah, at UNC. Yeah. You know what Crib. I'm saying? Um, yeah. So um, Crib. I told Gary, Yo, I need to go out there and have forty. You know what I mean? We in the room. We 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 roommates, and he's like. Nah, you gonna go out there and get a triple double. We gonna win, and you gonna wake up the next morning, USA number one player in the country. You know what I mean? And he he made sure I did that. You yeah. know what I mean? And as far as street ball, I gotta go with my brother A Butter. Like he turned me on to the Rucker and all of that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I got MVP at Rucker because he was determined to make sure that I got the ball in position to do the right things. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta go with Gary Irvin and whole lot of game A Butter, Adrian Walton. Mm-hmm. And I gotta put Curtis something in there as well. Okay, outside ball, I hate it. Like I have no fun playing outside. Yeah, it's just not my speed. I will go out there and play just cause like for the for the love. Yeah, but I hate it. You enjoyed it? I love it. I loved it. You know what I mean? That was my NBA. Like Rucker and all of that was my NBA. You know what I mean? That's where I basically <laughs> made my legacy after people knew that I wasn't gonna make it to the NBA. Mm-hmm. So street ball was my thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I put good. I had like a few forty point games. I had 45 in the record before. Yeah, the kids' yeah. record, though. Not, yeah. not, not, not unlimited. You ain't play unlimited. Unlimited? Not, no, I, the, exactly. Kitty record. The, 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 the record's not the same no more. 
It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. So I, at I, all. I, I can go get 45 at Limited right now. Yeah. Would it be in the way that it is now? Yeah. Not back, in my back day. Back that was again, 40? No way. No <laughs> way <laughs> possible. I feel like they're going to throw you on the floor before you. <laughs> nah. like, that's what I'm saying. That's the way. Nah, the way I think, I mean, I think, I think yeah. with your skill set, though, you can get out there. You'll have a great uh, you'll, you'll have great games out there because your skill set yeah. and you you determined to um, – you know what I mean? Entertain the crowd. That's what you do. You know what I mean? So The, the way the games used to look, like when, when Kobe played, like the way it used to look, it, it's nothing like that now. No, no. Nah, you might get you might get 100 people out there, 200 yeah. people. I was like them people were standing on the bridges, crowd. standing on buildings and all of that. Who, who was one of your big matchups at Rucker? Like some of the big guys, big names? I mean, you had everybody come through there. You never know who's going to show up, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, awesome. God bless his soul, Greg Marius. Uh, he did a great job with putting that together, man. He he always had the greats come through. Like you said, Kobe played, uh, Steve Francis, uh, uh, Steph, uh, Sebastian, of course. They, they, you know, the blackout game when he brought Braun out. Mm-hmm. Um, I was afraid. Uh, I was. Who else? Uh, that game never finished, right? Nah, they never played. Uh, it, it never got played. Um I'm not going to speak about that, but it never got played. <laughs> yeah. um, were, you, were you supposed to play that night? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But it was, it was crazy. You're trying to get over on Braun. You're trying to get over on Braun. He came down park with one intention. Yo, man, he was that just going to go for 60. You, you yeah. to get over on Braun. Yeah. Nah, I mean, it was just crazy. But, uh, Vince Carter came through. Um, a yeah. lot of greats came through that park, man. And, um no, nah, I mean it, it wasn't even about bro like that for that for that game, but it was yeah. like more so like even with Boston with the summer league when I was with Boston man and I played great all summer league and um, we played Cleveland the last day and they didn't play me like I would never know the answer to that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like Speak about your summer league experience because you did the summer league. I would say is like. It was it was your chance? Like why why? Speak more about the summer league experience. You I had. mean I I be. When Boston brought me in, uh, I knew I wasn't going to stay with Boston. You know what I'm saying? They had uh, they had their team pretty much solidified with Paul Pierce, uh, Antoine Walker. They had drafted Marcus Banks. Uh, so I knew I wasn't going to uh, stick there. But it's 32 of a team. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, I, I thought I played well to showcase – my talent enough to be on somebody roster yeah. after that summer league. Um, but like I said, I played all the games except for the game against Cleveland, which was the last game mm-hmm. of summer league. And the whole world was waiting to see Lenny Cook versus LeBron uh-huh. James in summer league. And it didn't happen. They didn't even give me out on the, on the stat sheet. It said Lenny Cook, D&P. Yeah. Damn. 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 You know no reason? Mean? No and, reason. And was, that, was that the closest point you got ever to the league? That was the closest point. Yep. And after that, Besides when I went out to Seattle for training camp training, and all of yeah. that. But I know I wasn't going to stay there either. They had just drafted Rashad Lewis. Me and Rashad Lewis played a two and a three. So I know that wasn't happening. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that was pretty much the uh, closest. But I had a decent career overseas. You know what I mean? I yeah. played in like nine different countries. Um, so, yeah. S- speak about that. Because even me, I have friends that play overseas right now. Overseas is not easy either. There's challenges behind overseas, foreign country. Nah, for sure. The, for sure. Language man. barrier. Um, I'm, I, I played in the Philippines where I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I played in China. I played in Kuwait where I hated it. You know what I'm saying? But it's the, it's the culture change. You know what I'm saying? Um, China, we went all the way to the finals and... I, I left. I quit in the finals because the coach called me the N word. Like, yeah. nah, like who's you talking to, bro? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. done. I yeah. called my agent. Y'all, I'm out of here. And I heard, you know I heard a so lot of stories like it's that. It's like overseas. certain things like that. You got to be able to either you gonna deal with it or you not. And yeah. I'm not gonna deal with it. Not gonna like deal that. with it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But it's countries that I played in. Like I said, where I love, like uh, Philippines. I'll go back to the Philippines right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but yeah, it's up to you. It's, it's up to you how you take it. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, look, Lenny, I want to appreciate it. Appreciate you coming for sure. Uh, legend. legend, appreciate it, man. I'm I'm here for you, bro. Yeah. Like I'm here for you. You know, I'm a phone call away anytime. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You can text me about anything. If if you don't want to go to them about anything personal, I'm here for you, bro. Because yeah. I want I, I see how bright your future is, and I see how far you're gonna play yeah, in the that's league. Love. That's love. Right. Oh, Pat, appreciate you too. Pat. But you'll never beat in Trey Young.
Yeah, okay. that's never gonna happen. I, we set that one on one up. <laughs> Yo, you know? I, I, I they don't, we gonna they figure don't it even out, know though. for real. Like me, <laughs> like for real, like me, I just can't lose in my head. Like I will, I'm nobody gonna have can. No, no, no. Nobody, <laughs> nobody can lose in it. You, you literally <laughs> got, you literally gotta beat me down before I just tell myself game is over. Like you're gonna have to really, you're gonna have to twenty one on me. I'm not. How yeah. often he beat up on you? Who Eden? Ian, he doesn't beat up on him. He's gonna win, but he's not beating up. How on many him. times do it take for you for, to yeah, yeah. You beat up? Yeah, and Ian is different, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ian is a he doesn't want to miss no layups. Once he goes transition, you can't really stop it's him. So you do. Trey, I'm a I'm a push him around a little. But <laughs> that's crazy. And every yeah. time I have to play hard against them because if I if I lose one time. It's over. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need one when the muffin gets in, and I check off my checklist. That's <laughs> all. Like, yeah, just one of them. I appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate you calling me to be on yeah, your show, man. Yeah, absolutely. Man. I wish you nothing but the best, bro. Yeah, Definitely appreciate, appreciate that. I feel like you're gonna teach a lot of the youngins out here some knowledge, something wise. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in here, episode two of the Captain Jack Pod. Appreciate Pat Wavy. Pat Wavy in the building. We yeah. out of here.